what's up YouTube um, so yeah I just got the what was it a Zoomed Aquasun T5 HO 48 inches yeah um, I'm actually liking the the light itself I had to take that blue thing off it uh, this is the fixture itself it's actually very sleek and modern um, like the review said, the cord is kind of small, but it's it'll work out fine because um, um, it it'll I'll put it near the switch, and this is the reason why I decided to not order it online and just go to the store and buy it. Um, I said fuck it. This has con you can control. It has two separate thingies, so that gives me a few options to work out with the bulbs later on. Um, and this is how the fixture looks from the top as you see it has the little brackets and it comes with this for the installation yeah and these are the the little legs um, it seems pretty simple to put in I'm gonna put it in in a bit I'm actually taking the time now to do a small water change and uh, yeah I'll hook it up oh and these are the the light bulbs that I got are a flora sun and an ultra sun uh both 54 watts yeah i read um i was gonna do just two flora suns for starters they didn't have two flora sun bulbs they only had one so i went with one flora sun and i followed the directions on the box and added the ultra sun um and plus i have 30 days to return it in case i don't like it and um so yeah and there's a 10 gallon i'm set it's empty without roger but what can you do so um yeah i just put the light in uh for starters let me tell you it was kind of a bitch to put the light into my tank. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the water changer. Hey, by any chance, you guys see all that uh, stuff on top of the water? How the hell do I get rid of that? That kind of showed up. Um, I noticed it two days ago, actually. And I did the water change mainly to try to get rid of it. And I got some of it. It's broken up into parts before the whole water had just like a thin film of that um but anyways back to the light uh so i really like the light um yeah i think it actually makes the tank look really nice um i like how green the plants actually look in the camera they look a little bit different but in real life uh the green on it is really nice and get a load of this guy right here in the last two days this mofo just blew the f up i have no idea how this guy just grew so quickly in two days but uh yeah i'm loving it look look how it is it just the leaves opened up even more now that i turned on this light like right away um so yeah uh, let's see there hasn't been much growth in anything as you see the Luigia is uh, mainly green on top I had a little water onion back there uh, but uh, yeah I don't think that's gonna sprout I'm gonna have to take it out And uh, these little guys are growing just nicely. The the crested Java fern. Well, I still can't get over how nice these damn leaves look with that color. Um, I actually bought some nice little pebble rocks since I went down to the river nearby here and guess what they had no freaking rocks a river with just sand um, so yeah that's what I found when I went out there so um, I actually found today in PetSmart 
they were like one bag was 99 cents the other was uh what i think a dollar 99 as a matter of fact let me go actually show you that uh yeah that kind of looks nasty don't it that should look like you got some issues anyways uh these guys right here the minute i the light's been running right now for like 15 minutes um my micro swords actually look like there's still some life in them they were looking all nasty um they're looking real nice and some of the right here the dwarf air grass um just got greener automatically in the last few minutes and this dude right here um yeah he came out of nowhere i had no idea i put that there i forgot i put that there um, I actually didn't think they were going to grow anyways. Uh, but this dude took off in two days. And that's the growth of it right there. As you see, it has some nice little... I don't even know what plant that is, to be honest. I bought a pack. It has six bulbs in it. As you see, there's still another bulb right there. Instead of growing, this one has just kind of popped up a bit and develop some little white stuff on it and the wisteria here is actually I wouldn't say stuck but it just kind of lays there I guess with the flow of the current and everything it just grabbed onto the wood and the the java moss there and I know you can tell some of the java moss actually looks kind of brown and dead I don't know if I should cut those pieces off and leave the green uh, I'm not too sure how to work the Java moss yet. Uh, but yeah, this is a Wisteria. The Wisteria is actually growing pretty nicely. I'm starting to think maybe I should just wrap it around. Um, since I've been noticing some of the roots have been starting to like intertwine in there and stuff. Um, I don't really know how it would look having the Wisteria kind of grow out. Um, then again, looking at the shape of this wood, it actually might look kind of nice if it grows out and then with the Java moss to cover. Um, I'll let you know what I decide to do. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me go show you the rocks. So I finally put the little rocks in, the small rocks, whatever. Um, they're actually kind of nice. It took me a lot longer than I thought. Uh, I was first just putting them in there till I realized they weren't looking so hot. So I might as well at least try to make something nice out of it. Um, I'll probably change it up the next time around that I take out most of the water. Um, I'll switch them to a better thing. I was just making too much of a mess. As you see, everything is just wet. Uh, I was adding a little bit more of um, the substrate. Oh, another note. This is... What was it? I remember buying, I think it was a four gallon. Yeah, I've done literally two tanks with four gallons of this substrate and it's still going. So yeah, I'm probably going to definitely have to do another tank. Uh, and lastly, I wanted, I was almost forgot, uh, was to show you guys that uh, the actual fi um, fixture, the light fixture, has this it actually swivels and yeah i got a little bit afraid that it's going to come down but no it's actually it literally stays up and i've been messing with the rocks and everything for a hot minute and it hasn't even flinched mind you i will say that uh i had problems because of this little edge here um these thingies don't actually screw all the way into it so i just tightened it up against the edge and they're pretty tight in there um this won't be, be won't be moved much around anyway um i kind of like that how that light bulb looks that little color uh so yeah i think this was the last addition to the tank for a minute uh now let's see how these things grow all right guys i know this video was a lot longer than I usually do them. Sorry about that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, again, Zoom Med Light Fixture 48 inch. Uh, cost me, what was it? 140 it was. But you do have to buy the two light bulbs separate. So I paid a total of 200 which 
probably would have been more or less the amount uh, after shipping and stuff to get it someplace else. I just wanted to get the light fixture right away because my plants weren't doing so hot. Um, I didn't want to wait another week or so to get it. So it was well worth the trip into the city. Anyway, guys, enjoy the, the, the video. Um, any questions, comments, feel free. Um, I'll see you guys around. Thanks. So everyone, um, I'm just adding this little portion of this video, whatever, um, to the lighting video. I did that yesterday. I just woke up and turned on the light to the tank, which looks great, by the way, but uh, I just found the tank's first inhabitant, and it seems the plants I bought came um with some little friends uh so yeah that's like the first snail i see it's uh really small i can't really make it out but you see it right there gliding and so far it's the only one i'm not too sure if i should be worried huh but i'm gonna leave it at that for now